All right, so let's dive into this uh, pretty interesting situation with Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin. You know, they had that private meeting, uh, lasted like a whole hour on October 22nd in Kazan. Yeah. Officially, of course, they said it was about Ukraine and, you know, typical cooperation stuff. But, you know, we're going to go deeper than those headlines, right? Yeah. Especially with this meeting happening just weeks before the U.S. election. What do you think about that? Well, the really interesting thing is we're exploring this through a Chinese language source. Oh, wow. So it gives us like a totally different angle, you yeah. know, on what might have really gone on behind those closed doors. Yeah, that's fascinating. Yeah. So what's this source saying? Well, it really hones in on the timing of this meeting. OK. They even go so far as to draw a parallel back to... February 22nd, 2022, mm. when those same, t you know, she and Putin, they met right before the whole Ukraine invasion happened. Oh, wow. And now suddenly we have this meeting October 22nd, 2024. It's yeah. almost like they're mirroring it, you know. It's, uh, it's pretty deliberate sounding. Yeah. And the source is hinting that this might not be a coincidence. OK, so what are they saying it is then? Well, they're suggesting it could be a sign of some kind of coordinated action between China and Russia, mm. maybe even a step towards something they called strategic decisive victory. Strategic decisive victory. Yeah, it's a phrase that apparently comes from some top secret Chinese military document. Mm. It basically means China wants to overtake the U.S. as the global superpower, you know, and, and defeat them. Wow. So they're seeing this meeting as potentially part of like this much bigger, much longer play. Exactly. That's a little unsettling. Yeah. And, you know, when we look at what else is going on, everything gets even more interesting, like all the activity around Taiwan lately, the Liaoning. Remember, that's China's first aircraft carrier. It just went right through the Taiwan Strait. Then you have those live fire exercises near the island. Yeah. It starts to feel like a pretty calculated show of force, yeah. especially with this secret meeting happening at the same time. Yeah. It's uh, definitely raises questions about what Xi and Putin might be cooking up over there. Especially with the U.S. election, you know, right around the corner. I mean, this source is claiming this October 22nd meeting, like that one before the Ukraine invasion, that it could be a signal, you know, for some big coordinated action. Yeah. And they said that it could be aimed at achieving that, uh, what was it, strategic decisive victory. Yeah, strategic decisive victory. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Like, what does that even mean for, for global stability? Especially between China and the U.S. Well, strategic decisive victory, it basically boils down to China wanting to become like the top dog, you know, the world's leading power, replacing the U.S. Wow. And the source is claiming that this idea, this concept is like woven into their military doctrine, driving a lot of their decisions, their strategies. So how does this secret meeting, you know, fit into that? What could they be strategizing about that would like help them get to this victory. Well, unfortunately, the source doesn't give us any specifics about what they actually talked about. Right. But it does hint that China might be looking for Russia's help, you know, to, to reach their goals. And I mean, Russia might be into that. Yeah. Right. Given how bad things are between them and the U.S. right now. Exactly. Both countries have this common enemy. You know, okay. they both want to shake up the world order as it is. And this meeting, it could be a sign that they're getting closer, you know, more aligned on how to do that. Maybe they're coordinating their moves, sharing intelligence. Who knows? Maybe even planning some joint operations. Yeah, that's that's a little scary. Yeah, it's something the U.S. and its allies need to keep an eye on for sure. Definitely, the ripple effects of this meeting right. they could be huge. It might signal a power shift. You know, embolden China to get even more aggressive towards Taiwan. Maybe even mess with the U.S. election. Who knows? Wow. And speaking of Taiwan, the source mentioned some pretty crazy stuff about what's going on into the Taiwan Strait. Oh uh, yeah. They're saying there's some suspicious activity happening down there underwater. Like maybe they're building tunnels or doing some other clandestine operation. Wow. Yeah, the source suggests China might be gearing up for a potential conflict over Taiwan. And if they're doing things like building tunnels down there, well, that would be part of it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's like they're trying to gain an advantage before anything even starts. Right. So we've got this secret meeting that could be about China trying to win this, this strategic decisive victory. Right. And then all this weird stuff happening around Taiwan. It's uh, it's not exactly a comforting picture. It's definitely a reminder that a lot goes on behind the scenes, you know, yeah. in international relations. But these little glimpses, they can be really important, mm. especially coming from a source like this one. Oh, yeah, for sure. It really makes you wonder about those official statements. Yeah. You know, 
about Ukraine and cooperation. Maybe that was just a smokescreen. It's possible. This source is telling us we got to dig deeper, look mm. past the surface, figure out what's really motivating these guys. You know, what are the power dynamics? And that's what we're doing here. Yeah. But before we get into like the fallout from this meeting, yeah. I want to go back to this strategic decisive victory idea. Okay. Because it feels like that's the key to understanding China's game plan. You know, their long term goals and how this meeting fits in. Yeah. So can you break that down for us a little more? Yeah, sure. So strategic decisive victory. This is like a core idea in how the Chinese military thinks these days. Okay. It's not just about, you know, winning a battle or even a war. It's bigger than that. They want to completely shift the balance of power in the world so that China's on top. So it's not just about military stuff. Nope. Though. It's economic dominance, technological superiority. And in the end, they even want cultural influence. They're aiming to like reshape the entire world order with China right at the center. Wow. And this source thinks the meeting between Xi and Putin is part of that. That's what they're saying, yeah. The source suggests that China sees Russia as like a crucial partner to help them get to this strategic decisive victory. Russia's already challenging the U.S.-led world order, right? Plus, they've got military power and all those natural resources. That makes them a pretty useful friend for China. So they could be working together to undermine U.S. influence on, like, all kinds of fronts. Yeah. Like economic sanctions, military stuff. You got it. Think of it like a chess game. China and Russia, they're making their moves, trying to outsmart the U.S. and its allies on the world stage and in places like Taiwan. And what about that underwater activity near Taiwan? Does that fit into this whole strategic decisive victory thing? It could, definitely. The source suggests China's getting ready for a possible conflict over Taiwan. And if they are doing things like secret tunnel construction, that would be part of it for sure. It's like they're setting themselves up to win before anything even happens. Exactly. And keep in mind, a strategic decisive victory, it doesn't have to mean a full-blown invasion of Taiwan. They could do all sorts of things. Economic pressure, cyber attacks, maybe even some limited military strikes. Anything to weaken Taiwan, you know, mm. and force them into unification on Beijing's terms. So this meeting between Xi and Putin, mm -hmm. it could be about more than just, you know, showing their buddies. They might actually be planning how to get to this victory together. Maybe even talking about what to do if the U.S. jumps in, if there's a conflict in Taiwan. It's a real possibility. And the timing is interesting, too, right? Just weeks before the U.S. election. Makes you wonder if China's trying to figure out how the election might change U.S. foreign policy. Or maybe even how to mess with the election itself. Who knows? Wow. It all seems so calculated. Like, they're playing the long game, thinking decades ahead, while the U.S. is just focused on what's happening right now. That's a big difference, yeah. Between how the Chinese and Americans approach strategy on the world stage, China thinks in terms of generations. The U.S. is more short term, you know, mm -hmm. often just thinking about the next election. Which could give China a real edge in this whole global power struggle. Absolutely. Their long term vision, plus their patience, their careful planning. Yeah. It makes them a tough competitor. OK, but let's bring this back down to earth for a second. What does all this mean for you know the average person? Why should we care about a secret meeting happening halfway across the world? Well, because whatever they decided in that meeting could affect all of us. Yeah. You know, a possible war in Taiwan, more tension between superpowers, maybe even a whole new world order. These aren't just ideas, you know. They could affect our economies, our safety, even how we live our lives. So this isn't just some faraway political game. It's about our future. Exactly. And this source reminds us that we need to pay attention to what's happening in the world, even if it seems far mm -hmm. away. What powerful leaders do, the strategies they use, the choices they make, it all has consequences all over the globe. It shapes the world we live in. So we need to understand that stuff if we want to deal with this crazy world. For sure. we got to be informed, th think critically, and question the stories we're being told. That's the only way to make sense of what's happening and what might happen. You know what I mean? Absolutely. This deep dive has been eye-opening for sure. Yeah. Thanks for helping us unpack this whole thing. No problem. And to everyone listening, stay curious, stay informed, and stay engaged. The future depends on it. That's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. What happens if China doesn't get this strategic, decisive victory? What if it doesn't work out for them? Well, the fallout from that could be pretty big. You know, if China feels like their plan to be number one is blocked, they might get desperate maybe even more aggressive. Oh, wow. And that could lead to, you know, more tension, a higher chance of conflict, make the world a lot less stable. So in a way, it would be better for everyone if China did succeed. Yeah. At least to keep things peaceful. It's tricky. It's not a simple question. 
a world where one country is in charge, even if they seem nice, that's not always a good thing. But a China that's frustrated and unpredictable, lashing out because they didn't get what they want, nobody wants that either. Sounds like we're walking a tightrope. Every little thing could tip the balance. Exactly. Which is why it's so important to understand what's going on, what's driving these countries what they want, and what might happen because of their choices. Knowledge is power, especially in a world where things can change so fast. This deep dive has really given me a lot to think about. All the secrecy around that, meeting this idea of strategic decisive victory, what might happen in Taiwan, and now what happens if China's plan fails. It's a lot. It is. But, you know, by looking at these issues, talking about them, and staying informed about what's happening in the world, it helps us be prepared for whatever comes next. That's a good point. We can't just ignore this stuff and hope it goes away. We have to know what's going on, be part of the conversation, and be ready to adapt. Couldn't have said it better myself. And, you know, even though we focused on this Chinese language source, it's mm. super important to look at things from different angles, question what we hear, and think critically about the information we're getting. That's how we form our own opinions and have meaningful discussions about these big global issues. Well said. This has been a really insightful deep dive. Thanks for breaking this all down for us. Happy to do it. And to everyone listening, stay curious, stay informed, and stay engaged. The future of the world depends on it.